Good question. A, I think it's a chance to win 200 bucks. Um, I think people love scavenger hunts. I mean, people like solving clues, like solving riddles. Um, I'm actually always amazed at the volume of comments and the people that go out and about looking for it. But uh, I think it's kind of become a tradition at this point. It's summertime, so people are off. I think they have some free time with their families. It doesn't cost anything to do. Um, and people just kind of have a good time with it. I mean, the first thing is to determine where we're going to put it, right? Find the location. We keep it somewhere in the city so we don't go like way too far out. You know, I don't want people all over uh, too far spread around town. So we try to keep it centralized to mm -hmm. within Alex City city limits. So I try to think of just unique things because I like to do play on words um, as far as like a business name or a location. So if the business has a distinct name where you can do some kind of research, maybe how that name came up and things like that, and then to help with clues. It's kind of scattered how I'll, how I'll do it, but thinking of the location number one, and then kind of a wordplay sometimes off the name. It serves as the original social network a language hints at where it will lay. What a yoke of oxen should do before sunset the tracks of two cities are how we know it today. Usually, usually I'd wait till dark. I was gonna say, you're not doing it at night? I got rascals to get home and get to bed, so. What if someone sees you? <laughs> How long do you think it's going to be tomorrow before someone finds it? I think it's going to be an 8 o'clock, 8.30ish. You think it's I that? I think it's going to be very similar to today. It's that easy of a clue? Or people are just so good? I think people are getting really good at it. Okay. Yeah, those last two lines that we did with the ox, what was it? The, uh, the yoke of oxen? The yoke of oxen, I think, is going to give it, it's going to give it away. Yes, because that's such an obvious <laughs> phrase. <laughs> tracks and we're looking for because it said like something about language we're looking for like words to be around it because it said it would lay near a language I went to the library first because there is actually a book by Charles Dickinson that's uh, a tale of two cities and so I went there and looked behind that book in the thing and uh, because they also close at they uh, they have a language section, so I even looked in like the French area <laughs> of the thing because that's what the book was about. After we put, you know, you put an hour of work into the first clue, how do you kind of build the second clue? Same way, to be honest with you. Although I try to make it a little, a little bit easier. I don't know if easier is the right term, but. I guess try to put some more specifics or details in the clue that make it a little more helpful to find. So not getting as random with our references like we did or going too deep down the... Like yoke of oxen. <laughs> like yoke of oxen. Or going down the rabbit hole. We've been hunting for this for several years now. We get up, the two of us usually get up at, at six and go out. Um, this morning we went, and we went to several different places this morning. Um, where did we start first? We started thinking churches, and we were trying to go through um, tracks. We went to, from there to orthodontist type stuff with braces and railroad tracks. Mm. And then um, this afternoon after the second clue, we kind of put it together with Young and Acres. Um, and then a, an oxen should um, plow an acre. Is what I'm thinking. So, Rhett, what do you like about hunting for the medallion? Mm -hmm. It's fun and it, you get to like be a detective or something. <laughs> and how'd you guys feel when you found it? Um, excited. 
super pumped. He got out and I, I was turning the car and I said, go look. And he comes running back with it and then some other cars were pulling up right afterwards. So that was exciting. When I saw it, I got chills through my body.